All right, so today I'm going to do a unboxing and, uh, well, I guess a semi-review on a bow I just purchased on eBay. And so it was $32. And so these are the bows that came with my cheap, you know, beginner student uh, violin, which is a Glary. Um, this is a Glary violin. And uh, actually it has a UUB, I think it's UU, oh, UU wood. So it's, uh, the tail is UU wood. The chin rest is you, you would. The bridge is, um, I believe it's uh, ebony. And uh, the top is spruce. And the sides in the back are uh, maple. And uh, this is you, pegs and maple. Yeah, so this is like a maple. Um, I don't even know what part of the violin this is called. Okay, that's how little I know about violins. And as you can see, I have a poster. I'm trying to learn right now. So this um, unboxing may be useless to more advanced people or people that know what they're doing. All right, so I got this for 32 bucks. Um, it was um, actually $39 and I talked them down to $32. And all right, let's open it up. And now this is gonna be my first um, carbon fiber bow. Now these are all um, what's known as like Brazil wood and they came with the uh, uh, violin. Well, I have uh, two of these, so I bought a third and I bought that one for, I think it was $20. And yeah, $20. All right, let's open this one up. So here's my latest edition right here. And look how nice it is compared to the other ones. The frog on this one is just an absolute beauty. Look at the abalone. Is that pronounced abalone? But that shell is just really, really very, very pretty. Look how iridescent it is. And there's the uh, end of it, the tightening uh, nut. And again, we have uh, some kind of mother of pearl in there. We have a fleur de lis, which is quite fancy looking, very French, right? And then um, if you look close, it looks almost like snake, snake wood, but it's carbon fiber. So the pattern is pretty cool. Then we got this snake skin piece. Uh, compared to the other ones, this one is way, way fancier. And there we go. Look at that. That is just really, really, really pretty. Okay, so then we go down, um, down to the end of the bow. And if you look closely, it has that, uh, again, that snake wood look to it. That's a really, 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 really nice pattern. That's very pretty. Okay, and then let's uh, travel down um, from one end to the bow to the other. And we'll go slowly. And you can see it's nice and straight. And here we go. My daughter is playing music in the next room. I hope I don't get YouTube copyrighted. And here's the ends. And you can see how much neater this one is than the other ones. And here's the hair. It's Mongolian horse hair. And I'll show you a comparison of the other ones. I mean, they all look similar. And here, I'll turn it this way so you can see it. You can see the strands of the hair. And I'm trying to get a focus in there. But hopelessly, my camera um, is not doing it for me. There we go. All right. So my impression, when I took it out of the... Uh, by the way, it came in a really nice tube. It was well protected, actually very, very well protected. It was wrapped in foam also and uh, really snug inside that uh, little uh, package. Um, wow, I pulled it out and I was like mesmerized by it. The minute I took a look at it, again, look at this. This is really, really nice looking. Very, very, very nice looking. And Again, we got that really nice looking snakeskin piece right there compared to the other ones, which are just very plain. Now, um, the other ones, the, you know, more generic ones, um, they claim that they're ebony. That does not look like ebony. That looks very sloppy, too. You can see um, whoever planed it out really did not do a good job. Here's the $20 one, and you can see it's like really, really uneven and sloppy. And again, look at the uh, octagon, how it's not even cut. Uh, neatly look at that and then there's the glary and here is the Eva 3 okay so can I play a song for you guys no and that's the problem you guys may say well if I can't hear it play 
how am I going to know if it's any good? I will um, strike it across my uh, uh, Glary, my $50 Glary. So first off, that's not going to be a good thing. Second off, I don't know how to tune it yet. So the Glary is not tuned. And so what I will do is I will rub the bow over the uh, bridge and let you hear it. And I'll, I'll compare it uh, to a cheaper one. Okay, so let's test out my Glary versus the Infante. And I do not know how to play anything. So I'm just going to rub it across the bridge. And so this is not going to be a professional sounding bow because of that. You know what I mean? Neither of them are going to sound good. But let's check it out. So um, hang in there one second, and uh, I'm going to just start uh, playing for you. Well, not playing any song. This thing is not tuned. I don't know how to hold the frog. I don't know how to hold the bow. I'm just going to rub it across. It's going to squeak. It's going to squeal. It's not the, uh, it's not the bow's fault. Let's try the Glary. All right, you ready? Is this the Glary? I think this is the Glary because my other ones aren't rosin. Actually, nope. This should be the Glary. I believe. Nope. Hold on. Here we go. Here's the Glary. Infente the best for looks, for quality, for um, actually uh, the ease of use, um, the lightness, rubbing it across the bridge. Um, the frog is the most comfortable. Um, I have to admit, the frog is definitely, definitely, definitely the most comfortable out of all of them. Um, I'm not even kidding you. Let me just take my phone off the stand a second. Hang on. Okay. So, um, yeah, definitely the frog is way more comfortable than any of these ones here. Um, beauty wise, the Infante wins sound. Uh, um, it sounded great. Um, it glided right across the bridge very easy with no problems. Um, if I actually learned how to play and hold the bow and hold the violin correctly, um, I bet you it's going to be a winner. Out of all of these, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Now, Infente is not paying me to do this review. I did not receive a free product. I paid for this. But if Infente is watching, I would love if you can send me any more of your bows. I'd like to try out your Brazil wood. If you have a snake wood one, I would love to try that one. If you have any other carbon fiber ones, I'd just really, really, really be grateful if you can send me some. I'll show everybody. Um, when I get better, I'll play songs with your bows, um, and that's it. So I want you to write in the comments below, which one do you think was the prettiest? Which one do you think, um, had the best design? Which one, uh, in your opinion, do you think, um, sounded the best? And I mean, again, I'm not playing, but again, look at this, uh, beautiful, beautiful design. Um, that is just really gorgeous absolutely gorgeous compared to all the other ones all right guys thanks for watching see you all soon so long